guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday, May 13th, 2021. My name is Aubrey and this is my astrological outlook for the day. So today we really don't have too many big time aspects in effect, but there are some energetic shifts going on and a couple other things that I just want to talk about and bring to your attention so you can be prepared as you go about your day for what you might experience. So the main thing that we have going on today is we have Jupiter changing signs. Jupiter is moving from 30 degrees of Aquarius, which is moonlit fields once Babylon, now blooming white, to one degree of Pisces. And this degree is a crowded marketplace. So with Jupiter moving into Pisces today, we can this will greatly expand public perceptions of divine truth, as well as attempts to create illusions and delusions and manipulation. These are the Pisces Neptune themes. There's two very specific octaves of how this energy manifests or unfolds or ways that it could go. One is aligning us with the highest octaves of spiritual truth and divine understanding and the flip side of that is illusion, delusion, sort of a fog and evading reality being very easily manipulated and controlled through perceptions and beliefs. So with, but Jupiter expands things and Jupiter is the great benefic and Jupiter brings our gifts and our blessings. And I do believe that now that we have Jupiter moving into Pisces, this is going to do a lot to realign the human psyche, the human consciousness with the higher octaves of truth and help us break through a lot of the illusions that have been put in place through the past age of Pisces over the past 2000 years as we've gone from the age of Pisces and now we're finally entering into the age of Aquarius. So I think that we will definitely experience an energetic shift with this as Jupiter changes signs. And I do think that Jupiter's entrance into Pisces is going to expand our ability to perceive genuine truth. Now, like I said, this energetic can also be used to create an expanded sense of manipulation and illusion and deception. But with Neptune in Pisces as well, and the North Node and the South Node in Gemini and Sagittarius, I do think that this is going to go more towards the higher octaves of truth and understanding and cutting through, breaking through illusion and deception, and not so much getting pulled into the fog and the confusion and the murkiness of things. So... I do think generally that this will do a lot for our own personal spiritual connections, our own understandings of what's going on in our lives and in the world in terms of showing us what's real and what's true. But Jupiter is going to retrograde soon and it will back into Aquarius before it goes direct again and then really starts going through Pisces and comes to a conjunction with Neptune. I think that's happening in 2022 and that I do think will be the ultimate in the Great Awakening um, really manifesting collectively. But until then, today we have Jupiter's official entrance in to Pisces and that is a significant energetic shift that we're dealing with. Um, this, like I said, it enhances our ability to connect to our higher selves, divine truth tremendously, and expands spiritual influence in our physical world, especially the closer that Jupiter gets to Neptune. And right now, remember, Neptune is at that materializing medium giving a seance degree, and there is a very tangible merging right now between supernatural and physical worlds, and Jupiter's entrance into Aquarius or into Pisces today, I do think will expand that even more and expand our connection to intuition and to our higher selves and to our ability to um, receive guidance through dreams and meditation and just hunches and flashes of insight that come to us. I think that these things will be expanded with Jupiter's entrance into Pisces now. The next thing that I want to talk about today we have the moon in Gemini and it is going to be conjuncting the north node today and opposing the south node and also conjuncting Mercury. So this with the moon here with conjuncting the north node, this is activating destiny and aligning our minds because Mercury is right there too and our souls, that's the moon, with our future path. So we have the mind, our soul or our 
emotions and our internal nature coming into contact with the destiny point and our future path today, where we're going. So again, today is a very strong and powerful day for messages and information about the future and about the past to come through. So we need to be open to and paying attention to just random things that we hear, you know, song lyrics or overheard conversations or, you know, someone drops something in front of you and you pick it up and it's got a word on it that is meaningful to you or just like any like random bits and pieces of information that come across our path today can be very meaningful in terms of giving us signs, giving us direction, giving us inspiration, giving us um, like synchronicities and stuff like that, that show us that we are or help us to align with the path to where we're going. And where the North Node is trying to pull us, where our blueprint is trying to get us to evolve to. We have messages and information and spiritual insight just abounding today with this, trying to give us new ideas, thoughts, attitudes, perceptions, perspectives that help to break us out of old dogmatic belief systems that have kept us in cycles of perpetuating behavior and circumstances in our lives because we're breaking free. We are really each and every one of us being called and pushed towards our own true authenticity. And then that is the direction that our future wants to take us. We're evolving, but it's through our own authenticity, our own uniqueness and our own true originality, the age of Aquarius and all of this active Uranus as well. So with the moon there today, this is really activating destiny and things that we see in the media, in, in the radio, on TV, social media, a lot of relevant information today in terms of the direction that we're going, the unfolding of the cosmic blueprint. The last thing that I want to talk about today is we do have the sun today at 24 degrees of Taurus. And if you've been following my work the past few weeks, you've heard me talk about this degree. It has been activated lately by a few of the different planets. And this Sabian symbol, the energetic frequency that this specific degree represents in sort of like a visual depiction of the energy is an Indian warrior riding fiercely, human scalps hanging from his belt. So... This is the warrior degree where the sun is today and coming off of our conjunction with the black moon yesterday and still in conjunction with the black moon today. I mean, we're only, we're, it's not an exact conjunction anymore, but now we're only one degree off and we have this warrior degree with the scalps hanging from his belt. So whatever's transpired today, yesterday, the past few days, there's a potential of people being more like ruthless in terms of just demanding and wanting vengeance today in terms, in terms of something. And this frequency being more fiercely activated into action, like people are just going to be feeling generally more ruthless about things today. Um, and just wanting to take their power back is the ultimate uh, expression of this degree, really wanting to um, stand up for your strength and show your strength and step into your power. And it can be done rather ruthlessly and in terms of, you know, vengeance with this degree activated. So we just want to be aware of that, whatever we see playing out, you know, maybe double think if you're just feeling like really overly um, retaliatory about something today, because Ultimately, remember, we are still in this black moon sun conjunction, the energy of the black moon and the sun together, and we are supposed to be rising up and transcending out of and over the issues and the troubles that are going on in our lives and on the ground and really just surrendering to the faith that however the blueprint has it mapped out is really for our best and our highest despite how it might appear at the moment and the obstacles and the struggles and the interpersonal dynamics that are in play that um, are just creating uh, a sense of like triggered insecurity and fear and more of those shadow side black moon themes. We really are supposed to try our best to release, let go, forgive, and rise above just like the white dove symbolism and embody forgiveness, surrender, peace, love, joy, and generally just the wonder and the love of our lives and try our best to embrace that internally and on a psychological 
and subconscious level so that we can align our manifestation potential and power with the beautiful things instead of allowing our fears and worries to be what we create and manifest under this energy. We do not want to go to war in our lives and make that what we manifest with the black moon and the sun so close together. Another thing is today we have the earth which always opposes the sun. So the earth is at 20 or the sun is at 24 Taurus. So the earth will be at 24 Scorpio. And that degree is crowds coming down the mountain to listen to one inspired man. So again, this might be a very collective feeling that is triggered by um a personality or a situation or something that we collectively hear or are experiencing but there's a good chance that this uh just desire to really dominantly forcefully exert our personal power is a collective vibration today and something that we are all experiencing in some way or another because of some situation or some circumstance that we've collectively experienced and um, played a role in together. So crowds coming down the mountain, um, it could be something that's affecting wide swaths of people, crowds, groups, just feeling very ruthless and over it and wanting to forcefully take back what is theirs and make it a big display so that it doesn't happen again. So that's really the main things that I think that we have going on today that are being activated. Jupiter into Pisces, that is going to do good things for us in terms of exposing truth and exposing what's really been happening in the fog, in the illusion, in the delusion, in the manipulation, in the projection that has been being um, play that has been being played out right now, Jupiter into Pisces should do a lot to lift that veil. And remember, we are in the new moon cycle. This Aries new moon cycle, this new astrological year, this whole cycle is about a woman in pastel covers colors carrying a valuable but veiled load. So I think that with Jupiter moving into Pisces, this should actually do a lot for us in terms of lifting some of that veil so that we can see the valuable load that is underneath that this year is ultimately exposing and bringing us closer into contact with. Also, be on the lookout for messages that resonate with you and sort of like point you in the direction of your future. Um, ask for answers, ask for guidance, ask for signs, pay attention to synchronicities, pay attention to things that you interpret symbolically, pay attention to animal sightings, pay attention to just random things that cross your path and pieces of information that you come in contact with. Those things can help us a lot today in terms of feeling like we're going in the right direction. Also, one more thing about this, this moon north node Mercury conjunction today is in trying to Saturn and Aquarius. So it is still more of that serious vibration. It does have more of a serious, heavy tone to it. And we are taking things seriously. So we are taking the direction and the nature of our emotional feeling and our mind in regards to our future path and where we're going seriously. And this is good energy to pay attention to details, to plan, to organize, to um, write out, you know, like a map of how you want to get somewhere. Really good use of the Saturn trine to the moon, Mercury, and North Node today. And then just wrapping it up, we do have that warrior degree activated and it's regarding crowds of people. So just something to be on the lookout for. And we really need to try not to be driven by our subconscious black moon um, shadow side issues because we have a lot of really powerful manifestation potential right now. And we do not want to be manifesting out of our subconscious fears because that will just create and perpetuate more of what we don't want. We want to be elevating our thoughts, elevating elevating our heart, elevating our consciousness, elevating our psyche, clearing the black moon issues and refilling it, bringing in peace, love, joy, surrender to the divine plan and faith that regardless of how it looks right now, this is in our best interest. And regardless of the circumstances, everyone that we encounter and have 
issues with in our life in any way really is um, a golden link in the chain of our good. Everyone and everything is here to benefit us and we need to look at it from that perspective and forgive and embrace love totally. <laughs> so that's how we get through this energy. That's how we get through this day. And that's my video. So if you guys liked it, I hope you were able to get something valuable out of this that can help you. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell if you want to get notifications when I upload videos. And share it with your friends if you think that it's something they would be interested in. And yes, please leave me comments. I love reading your comments and interacting with you guys. And I will see you back here for my astrological outlook for Friday. Have a wonderful day, you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.